Okay, and we are live on YouTube. All right, well then, this is Todd Moore. Let's call to order the April 24th, 2020 OpenJS Foundation board meeting. Great, thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, up on the screen, we have the OpenJS Foundation board directory. Um, and then, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> the agenda for today. Uh, we have a couple of things. We have an update on the event coming. Um, this is uh, going to be some, some news coming from Robin. Um, give a brief update on certification, and then uh, there's a CPC update, and then we'll give a marketing update. Does anybody have anything to add to the agenda? I think it's good. Let's okay. keep going. Very good. First order of business is to approve the March 9th, 2019, or sorry, 2020 board meeting minutes. Um, I'll fix that date. Uh, has everybody had a chance to review the minutes? Yep. Yes. All right. Would somebody like to make a motion to adopt the minutes? Yeah, motion, motion to approve. approve. <laughs> I heard Michael on that one. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Okay. Thank you, Chris. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have any opposed? Any abstains? Okay, minutes are adopted. All right, so the first uh, item of business today is the event update. So Robin, would you like to take us through this? Yeah, hey all, this is Robin again. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on our annual event, OpenJS World 2020. Uh, Monday, we'll be um, announcing our uh, keynotes and content but we're also going to give everyone an update that as you all expected, we are uh, moving to a virtual experience due to continuing COVID-19 uh, safety concerns. Uh, we're gonna hold it the same time zone, um, June 23rd and 24th on US Central time zone, which was the original Austin time zone. Um, and we're also announcing uh, an expanded collab summit um, experience um, and days. So if you look at the calendar Monday, uh, we'll kick off with a collab summit. So if you're interested in contributing to projects um, under the OpenJS Foundation and you um, don't know quite how to do it or where you might want to apply your skills, I encourage you to, to attend Monday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday is our conference and you'll get the full lineup on Monday, this Monday. Um, and then Thursday, we'll have a Collab Summit Project Day for specific projects, and Friday, we'll have our Cross Project Day. So um, watch our Twitter handle, and you'll find out more information about that. Oh, I think another important point is um, we will be announcing that the event will be free. I think that's, that's all on the event space today. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody really have any? excited? Yeah, really excited. About I guess the content. A, a question for you on this, Robin. Mm -hmm. um, as we are all people who are super excited to spread the word on this, but it's also Friday, and there hasn't been official comms. Um, would you like board members to start spreading the word, or would you like us to maybe you know wait until next week when official comms goes out from the foundation? Um, we'll send out the official comms Monday morning. So if you just want to wait um, until then, because then um, our event web website will be updated with all of the uh, great content lineup and schedule. Sounds good to me. Okay. We'll send a, a note around when it does hit. Any other questions? Okay, let's move on to the next topic, certification update. Uh, Robin, would you like to take this one as well? Yeah, hi. Um, I think Rachel gave an update last month. Um, she's out this week, but the node certification exams, we have over uh, well over 700 registered. Uh, we also have a sale going that um, was extended now through um, April 30th. So 30% off. Um, and using the code anywhere 30. So if uh, you're interested in learning more, um, we've had um, some testimonials from folks who've taken them that you may have seen on Twitter. Um, we had a blog last week that talked about some of other folks' experiences. So I encourage you to check it out. 
Um, it's kind of a great way to showcase your talents and help others find uh, talent in the job market. I think that's all the updates I have on the certification. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Board, any questions for Robin on the certification? Comments? No, it's good to see us making progress and I continue to thank the staff for moving this forward for us. It's been great to see this get going. Are there any uh, folks who might not have English as their first language? Do they have anything to look forward to in terms of the certification? That is a good question. We're working with the uh, Node.js community contributors in China who are volunteering their time to translate the exam into Chinese. So. Uh, we are um, on track to launch a Chinese translated version um, in probably sometime this summer. So I did about that. No, well, thank you, Robin. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, great. So moving on to the next topic, the CPC update. Um, Michael and Chris, is there anything you'd like to take us through here? Sure. So, you know, that we haven't had any new project applications since the last meeting. Uh, we are continuing to work through the process of onboarding our existing projects. There aren't any blockers on that front. Some highlights from the last meeting is, you know, we elected uh, the non-impact voting members for the next year. Um, and nominations are underway for voting members, which are nominated by regular members. That's um, you know, something that's allowed for in our governance, but we, we didn't do in our first year and are now ramping up since we've, you know, sort of got through the bootstrap process. Um, and the standards working group was was chartered. I'd mentioned before that it was in process. It's, it's now complete and up and running as a chartered working group. Some of the other active work is that, um, you know, we're actively working with some collaborators on um, you know, coming up with some guidance for security, security reporting processes for the, the projects, um, uh, some copyright guidance, and we're also working through um, and discussing you know, a number of code of conduct, or not, not reports, but process type issues in terms of you know, how we efficiently handle those when and if they occur. Any questions for Michael on this? No, this is so Robin. I, is, I might go ahead. I was just going to ask it, it. So is the CPC generally very active now? It appears to be. That's, uh, that's absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead, Rob. That's what I was just going to. That's what I was just going to point out. Like our attendance at the CPC is, I think, higher than ever, and so broadly represented across so many projects. Um, my, I mean, lots of folks who are coming and learning and observing. Um, a lot of folks who are deeply participating. Michael, have you yeah. seen the, the growth? Yeah. Yeah, we we're, we we meet once a week, and mm -hmm. you know we're getting good attendance. Uh, you know, despite it being every single week, um, you know we're talking about actually moving to a model where we're going to make some of those meetings um, like working sessions, in addition to going through you know uh, a review of where we're at. Um, so yeah, I think it's you know I, from my perspective, it's it's quite active. We've got lots of people participating from different areas. Um, and, you know, for having gotten to where we're from, you know, it was just announced a few weeks ago, you know, that we made it, uh, it was a one year anniversary. And I think we should be pretty happy in terms of where we're at and how the CPC is functioning after the first year. Very cool. Excellent to hear. Thank you. And one of the things that I think has been the most successful about it is the egalitarian model in which we set up. So a lot of people who like, not a lot, but there are people who are showing up who maybe are not even super active in any of the projects, but care a lot about the JavaScript ecosystem and want to find a place to contribute. Um, so not to say that that is like the main um, archetype of people who are coming in, but I think the flexibility that we've had has like, you know, made it possible for all sorts of different people uh, to come in and participate. Um, and I really hope that that's one of the reasons why we've seen such great engagement. Great. Any other comments? Okay, let's move on to the marketing update. Um, since we don't have Rachel here today with us, uh, Robin, would you like to take this one? We're happy to fill in. 
Rachel's been doing a great job in working with um, the marketing committee and with folks um, across the project, uh, CPC and project level. Um, we have quite a robust uh, content pipeline, as you can see from the, the blogs that have been posting recently. Um, we've got um, pipeline through the next few weeks. Um, so some of the things you're seeing are, are more on programs. Uh, you'll be seeing more um, featuring case studies and individual developers and hearing more about the cool things they're doing. Um, it's more technical uh, deep dives. So those, um, those numbers and the page views and the content are really strong. Okay. Website metrics um, are interesting. Those um, a little bit lower this year or this last month, but not terribly so. Uh, one of the things that we've discussed in our marketing meeting uh, that we had earlier this week is the ses session duration um, and wanting to understand that a little bit more. So we're going to be working with the folks who uh, run the websites for the projects and see um, what telemetry data we have on whether folks are visiting our website and then going off to the dojo site or the node site or um, what have you. So we're going to do some more uh, digging there. Any questions? Uh, social media. Uh, I think you saw perhaps last month that Rachel has started to understand sort of the positive negative um, sentiment um, ratings a little bit more. And she found that sometimes the negatives were often uh, mis, uh, mislabeled. So she's going back and checking those and correcting those uh, where needed. Um, so you'll see um, the engagement is still is still quite strong. It's, it's been a great platform and a positive platform, especially. LinkedIn, uh, this was pretty interesting to see. Again, uh, LinkedIn is still a relatively new uh, social channel for OpenJS. Um, and we're you know, experimenting on what types of content readers there might be most interested in. And boy, they sure were interested um, in the certification exam. You saw that, that spike there. So we'll be doing a little bit more on that. It seems to be even across all our social channels, people have a lot of interest in that. And we, again, have lots of folks that sort of shared their experiences with Rachel and the team. And so she'll be sharing more of that out on um, in blogs and content. Do we know if people are visibly sharing their certifications now through LinkedIn and other means? That's so that a good question, because we have a digital badge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back. It's interesting, Rachel reached out to everyone who had passed and asked if they wanted to provide their experience or a testimonial. And I think about probably 80% of the people said yes. Um, again, some of those were featured, but I'll go back and check on their digital badge. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. YouTube, uh, views are up, I think. Um, that is really due to the AMAs that are sort of picking up steam. I don't know how many folks are going back and watching some of our, our meeting YouTube videos, but um, we have an AMA coming up on Node Red on May 5th, I believe. Um, so if others have um, interest and ideas and participating in some AMAs on our YouTube channel, please reach out to us and we'd love to work with you. Any questions? Cool. All right. Well, this brings us to the end of our content for today. Um, does anybody have any questions or comments or anything else they'd like to discuss before we close up? Well, again, as always, I'd like to thank the staff for uh, preparing this and everyone who participated in uh, providing information and content. And uh, if there are no questions coming in, then I think we can call the meeting to a close. Okay. 
Very good. Thank you very much, everybody. And we'll talk to you next month. Thank you all again. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Tom. Thanks, team. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.